I'm Janet Link, the principal of Timicum Elementary School, and I'm glad that you're joining us today to celebrate our wonderful fifth graders as they end their elementary years at Tinicum and prepare to move on to Palisades Middle School. This year's celebration is again a bit different as the students and some of their teachers are here with me in the all-purpose room, while family and friends will be viewing this ceremony virtually. Still, there is much to celebrate as these students, whether face-to-face -face or virtual, have worked hard throughout this year and you, their teachers, friends, and families have worked hard to support them. Without further ado, I invite our student announcers, Christian Gordon and Emma Worth, to join me on the stage to introduce the Tinicum fifth grade class. Yeah. 
Sanders? At this time, you are going to hear musical performance of Ode to Joy, performed by our Boomwhacker Ensemble. The Boomwhacker Ensemble consists of fourth and fifth graders who signed up to learn this beautiful piece. Enjoy the music. enjoy those performances as much as I did. Thank you again, students. The next part of the program provides each of our students the opportunity to reflect on their elementary years at Tinnegum, share a memory, thank a teacher, and look forward to what is to come at the middle school. Our students have done a great job writing these speeches, and I am hoping that you can hear each of them, as speaking into a microphone while wearing a mask can be a bit challenging. Emma and Christian, please come up and get us started. I'm sure you would have been in class and I, who knows this, no one person is perfect, 
A quote that keeps me going is you should live for the people you love and be grateful for what you have. An accomplishment that I am proud of is making it through all of my years at Tinicum and having fun through it. What I am looking forward to most in middle school is having more fun classes with new and old friends. My favorite memories from Tinicum Elementary School is having fun with friends and having people support me throughout my wonderful journey. Thank you, Tinicum. Hi, I'm Wesley. Something I'm proud of achieving at Tinica is completing six whole years of school. But after all those years, I can't wait until middle school. I'm looking forward to having different classes throughout the day. Bye, Tinica. My favorite memory at Tenecum is being a banana in the town to my friends. My advice for younger students is to always be respectful to their teachers. I will miss playing kickball with my friends at recess. I'm looking forward to seeing your old friends in middle school that used to go to Tenecum. Hi, I'm Allie Everett. I made a lot of good friends in the 60s at have been here at Tenecum. All the teachers were super nice, but the one that helped me the most was my favorite fourth grade teacher, Mr. Shep. He was my favorite teacher, and he helped me when I struggled with math. One piece of advice I would give to a younger student is to be yourself. You need to be yourself so people know the real you. Thank you, Tinicum, for all the great memories. I'll miss Tinicum, but I'm also looking forward to class. Hi, my name is Anthony Garcia. The person who inspired me is my brother. He helped me to like skateboarding more. He also never gave up. That is a person who inspired me. And Tinico, my friends, also inspired me. I want to thank Mrs. Sanders for being an awesome math teacher for me. She always takes time and cares about my learning. My favorite memory is playing football with Sebastian, Wesley, Gabe, Marky, Christian, Jimmy, and Rylan, and Nico, and Ethan. I am looking forward to seeing all of my friends again in middle school next year. She has such a great personality and is so fun. She is one of the best teachers I have had here at Tenable and has made my last year here great. Mrs. McLaughlin also inspired me because she has such a great personality and she helped me become less shy and made me feel very welcome to success in grade. One thing I'm looking forward to in middle school is meeting new people and I'm pretty excited about it all. I'm excited to start a new school, not that this school wasn't great, but I think it will be really fun. One accomplishment I have had here at Tenet Club is having four great years and always having people help me get through things and help me understand them more and meeting so many new people and making so many friends. Another accomplishment I have had here at Tenet Club is getting my artwork selected for the art show and having it hang in the library since third grade. remember my experience at Tinicum. Here's my acrostic poem about Tinicum. T, Tinicum is, is a beautiful school me, outside and inside. I, in the classrooms, I felt good. And N, now I will miss Tinicum because I'm going to middle school. I, I will miss all my friends over the summer. C, coming to Tinicum was amazing. U, your teachers were very kind. M, Miss Robinson was a good teacher this year. A good memory I have at Tinicum is having Mr. Fache as my fourth grade teacher because he, he was very kind. An accomplishment I had was receiving really good grades. It's, I made many good friends and some memories at this amazing school.
my hi, I'm Sebastian Melissa. My favorite to make memories that our fifth grade won the track meet this year. I'm proud of how well I did. What I'm looking forward to in middle school is getting to go to the school that has two stories. Bye to me. A person who inspired me at Tinicum was Mrs. Kozlowski. She is so easy to converse with and easy to express your concerns to. If you need someone for a mental repair, go to Mrs. Kozlowski. She also taught me how to not read like a robot and gave me the challenges I needed if I was bored or I already knew the topic. Even though every teacher has been fantastic and has helped me a lot, she truly made me happy. My favorite Tinica memory is my talent show banana dance with Reese, Anthony, and Christian. It started as a joke between Anthony and I, but turned into a reality as my mother signed us up along with Reese and Christian. I am so happy it turned into a real performance, even though it required absolutely zero talent and was just for fun. Tinica, I'm sad to go, but excited to go a step ahead. Hopefully I come back and visit one day. forward to all the new changes, but I'm going to miss a lot of fun moments at Tunica, like dressing up for Halloween parties or spending time with my friends all day. What I'm going to miss most of all are my inspiring teachers. Mrs. Kozlowski, my amazing third grade teacher, my funny fourth grade teachers, Mr. Bush and Mrs. Leeple, my positive and bright fifth grade teacher, Ms. Robinson, and I can't forget Mrs. Bush, Kersky, and Mrs. Pogba. Other than moving to Miss Tunica, I'm looking forward to middle school.
Hello, my name is Mandy. My favorite Tinica memory is Marvelous Man, Mr. Vachet's class, and when we had Cubby Buddies in Miss Caligo's class. My advice for new kids is to follow our ABCs. Be respectful, responsible, and safe. What I'm looking forward to in middle school is seeing the animals in Miss HT's class. Thank you to all the, my wonderful teachers who have helped me over these years. Hi, my name is Harper Schneider. I've gone into the home for six years. It's a great way to make new friends, learn new things, and gain athletic skills. Here's my acrostic poem that spells Tinicum. T, try your best. I, idolize good examples. N, never give up. I, ideas can make great things. C, conquer each day with positivity. U, unique students. M, magical school. I'm not so excited to go to middle school, though there are things that I'm excited about that I will be a part of. One of those things is longer lunches, which you can go outside to eat during. Thank you, Tinica. I'm ready to go to fall in sixth grade. Attending Tinica because some of my close friends go here as well. I'm looking forward to seeing my sister at the middle school. Hi, my name is Jane Stevens, and I have many great memories from Tinica. One memory and accomplishment that I'm very proud of is running in the track meet. I was able to win the 400 meter and 100 meter relay races. Thank you, Mrs. Tilton and Mr. Blogger, for encouraging me to challenge myself at these races. Oh, well, I'm just in command looking forward to middle school. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brady. Mrs. Sanders inspired me to read more and even want to read out loud. Mr. Fischer inspired me to play baseball and hunt. I am proud of finishing fifth grade and can't wait for sixth grade. I am looking forward to be making new friends in middle school. I will never forget to Hi, my name is Ryan Thorpe. The people who inspired me at Tinicum are, well, everyone. And because we are all different from each other and this makes us all special. An accomplishment I'm proud of learning is how, well, proud of learning is how to draw better. I will miss Tinicum, but I'm looking forward to middle school and learning more about how to design and animate in technology. is helping create Ethan a game we all play at recess. What I'm looking forward to most in middle school is seeing my friend that moved away. A favorite memory from Tinicum Elementary School is making so many great friends. I will miss seeing my brother at recess. Hi, my name is Mark. A teacher who inspired me at Tinicum was Miss Flieger for helping me with math. An accomplishment that I am proud of is joining the chess club and learning how to play chess. One favorite member from Tinicum Elementary School is Adam Fielder. The gym teacher has always made it fun. I also enjoyed going to the Iron Pigs game for a field trip in third grade. I am excited for social studies class at Palms. by Bears Beach. I am so sad to leave Tinica. All my teachers were so awesome, but there were two teachers who really stuck out for me. One is Mrs. McLaughlin. She taught us so much about poetry. Two kids in our class even won the poetry contest, and one of them was me. I am really proud of that. Mrs. McLaughlin really helped me achieve that. The second teacher is Mrs. McDermott. She is always helping me and supporting me when I'm having a hard day or have a problem. Even though I will miss this awesome school, I am excited for Pops. And to all those kids who are nervous for Tinicum, 
he will be happy here. He wrote an acrostic poem that spells cinema. T, tiger epic. I, interested. N, numbers. I, intelligent. C, curriculum. U, unite. M, music. Keep on roaring, tigers. Roar. Thank you to Mr. McGorry and Mr. Morris for teaching me how to play my instruments. An accomplishment I have from Tinnicum is being able to play football in the snow at recess. Hi, my name is Savannah Zahidi. An accomplishment I am proud of is having fun during math, something I never thought I could do. When I first came here at Tinnicum, I did not like math. But then I got Mrs. McLaughlin. Ever since then, I had awesome teachers, and now I love math. What I am looking forward to, to most in middle school is a new violin teacher. Violin is something I really like, and I am excited to keep it up. A favorite memory in school from Tinnicum Elementary School is everything, but one of my most favorites is when I went to see my new fourth grade teacher, but I went to see Dr. Wabel. She was talking about fifth grade things, and we believed it, but then we realized I meant to see my fourth grade teacher. Tinnicum, I will miss you.
depends upon the encouragement of good citizenship on the part of young people of each succeeding generation. Having demonstrated qualities of good citizenship through display of character, leadership, scholarship, and acceptance of responsibility, you are to be recognized as an exemplary citizen. I hereby recognize your outstanding conduct, express gratitude for your message of encouragement and goodwill, and I extend my best wishes for your continued success in the future. Signed, Senator Bob Mitch. We have three students who are receiving this award. When you hear your name, please stand. Ava Cron. Savannah Tahiti. And Nico LeBlanc. Congratulations. And these awards are sponsored by the National Association of Elementary and Secondary School Principals, as well as the federal government. These awards go when you finish your career at one school, so you'll have a chance to get one as a fifth grader and again as an eighth grader. And they go to students who have maintained a 3.5 grade point average, that would be your fifth grade grade point average, as well as those who are proficient on our national exams. Well, we didn't take many national exams for two years. So to get that criteria this year, you had to be proficient on your middle of the year math test. And that would show us that you probably would have been proficient uh, on PSSA this year, which we don't have back yet. I am proud to announce that many kids have earned this award. I'm going to announce your names and ask you to stand, and then we're going to read to you a letter from the White House. And here we go. Olivia Bellis. Ethan Bennett. Jimmy Cooper. Ava Cron, Soshi Day, Wesley Earp, <coughs> Allison Evla, Christian Gordon, Louise Hertzik, Hi Hudson, Sebastian LaRosa, Nico LeBlanc. Rogan Morgan Kendall, Oliver Mutterfurl, Ren Pyle, Parker Snyder, Viola Yates Podversky, Kate Garrett Petruni. Congratulations to all of you. Let me read you the letter from the White House, but first let's applaud you and you can have a seat and then listen. The letter says this, congratulations on receiving the 2021 President's Education Award. America is a country where we are one and unite through tough times. You are the future leaders of this great nation, and through your determination and resilience to push forward, you have reached this ultimate accomplishment of being recognized for this prestigious award. Dr. Biden and I are pleased to congratulate you on receiving the 2021 President's Education Award. We are honored to join your family, friends, school, and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. Jill and I send our best wishes and blessings. Keep challenging yourself. Be kind. President Joseph Klein, congratulations to all of you. So as we come toward the end of the program, today we're celebrating and saying farewell to a very special class, the Tinicum Tigers of 2021. They've been a wonderful group of students and have showed us that they are flexible and persistent in their efforts to learn, whether face-to-face -face or virtual, despite social distancing, masking, and enhanced hygiene protocols during this most unusual school year. As our yearbook theme states, you have triumphed over being six feet apart and still together. You are kind, smart, fun, curious, and very talented. And among you are artists, musicians, athletes, writers, humanitarians, and scholars. It has been my pleasure to watch you learn and grow over the past six years, from those tiny round-faced students who entered Ms. Hamilton's kindergarten class to the leaders of our school that you are today. The spirit of looking out, not only for oneself, but for others, is something that I believe you have learned 
and that I hope you'll carry within you for the rest of your life. It is in that vein that I share these words from a new favorite author of mine, Cleo Wade, from her newest book, What the Road Said. Then one day, I was walking my usual way home when out of nowhere, for no reason at all, almost as if it were magic, a road appeared. I couldn't believe my eyes, so I walked over to it and I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. How do I start, I asked. The road smiled and said, you have already started. Well, what happens when I get there? We have just begun, said the road. Do not skip straight to the ending. Enjoy the beginning and the middle too. And then the road raised me up and said, all things grow and change. That is the magic of being alive. You too will find your wings. You too will bloom. No living thing is meant to stay the same. What if I need help on my journey? Ask your fellow travelers on the way. So as you close out your beginning years here at Tinica and make your way to the middle school, remember that you're not meant to stay the same. Instead, you are ready to grow and change, to try new things, meet new friends, and delve deeper into discovering who you are. And if you need help along the way, you can rely on your fellow travelers, your parents and families who were your first and most important teachers, your friends, and the new teachers that you will discover at Hans. On behalf of the outstanding Tinicum staff, I wish you all the best as you continue along the road to the next step of your journey, Palisades Middle School. I have no doubt that you will bloom and find your wings, and we can't wait to hear of your accomplishments. Congratulations to the Tinicum Tigers of 2021. A slideshow has been prepared in your honor to celebrate your years here at Tinicum Elementary School. Thank you to Mrs. McDermott for putting all of this together, all of her many nights of hard work to make this special present for you. Sit back and enjoy.
So once again, congratulations, the Chinook Tiger Class of 2021. Applause. Before the ceremony ends, we would like to take a moment to thank Ms. Luke for all she has done for us to the Throughout the time she has been here from kindergarten to fifth grade, we'll miss you and wish you a wonderful retirement. 